Well, it's not just Aboriginal communities, you know. We know that rural communities more generally are disadvantaged when it comes to access to technology, even just, even just um, you know, having proper uh, uh, coverage. You know, the, the black spots, try using a mobile phone between here and Cowra, and you're constantly dropping in and out. Um, rural areas are already underserved and disadvantaged because of the limitations in bringing full coverage and, co and connectivity. Um, that doesn't exist in the cities. So I think there's already that disadvantage. Then there is a cultural disadvantage in being able to bring your cultural sovereignty to the use of technology. Um, it is designed, as I say, to be a very disembodied, disconnected space. Um, and to wrest that back, it requires a lot of cultural capital. And we enter that space disadvantaged because we were left out of the way these things were devised. They were never devised with us for us. We have to find new ways of utilising it. Um, so it's a technological dispossession in a lot of ways, right? Um, but that doesn't mean we can't do that. I think there's great potential in First Nations communities being able to utilise technology to be able to connect with family, with people, with places, as I did with Google Earth when I couldn't go home. That can be really meaningful. But we have to be aware of how we do that and how we can bring our sensitivity, our cultural awareness and, um, uh, and our connections to that space.